Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector here, and it is today's the outdoor edition of the Redline Collection unboxing video for you. Outdoors today because it's so darn beautiful, because it's so darn beautiful, and these cases are so darn dirty. I don't want them back in the house again until they're cleaned. Some of them may not be able to be cleaned. Look at this one. It is in rough shape, rough. Look at this one, disgusting, oh my god. And look at this one, terrible condition. So, we are ready to do the Redline Edition Outdoor Version Unboxing of the Collection, brought to you by Kroger Seltzer Water Lemon Lime, nice and tasty. All right, let's get started and see what we have. Separate these babies into groups. What do we have in the case? Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at all those cars. Oh, let's start in the middle here. Look at that. We've got a cab for a heavyweight team trailer, but look at that. The team trailer is parts. There does not seem to be a window in there, and we've got a cracked base on this team trailer, but the top piece is good. The inside piece is good. I don't see the door anywhere, but maybe it's in a box somewhere, and there's the trailer right there. Racing fuel tanker. Oh, dear. Looks like that one is broken. Man, oh, man, but look at this. White enamel cab white enamel would I call it a cab I guess I could call it a cab but as you can see the little hoses are missing on that one all right let's keep going with the heavyweights look here moving van blue with a gray back let's take a look at the door it's got the textures on it. it's not the smooth side this one actually looks to be in halfway decent shape for a heavyweight racer rig look at that here it is racer rig kind of rough kind of rough Broken window and all that, but look at the trailer. It's actually not too bad. Still got the piece on the back. Let's take a look. There it is. That's still there. Well, that's a good piece. And that plastic piece is good, so that's not so bad. All right, let's see. Oh, we got the waste wagon. Waste wagon in lime. Not too bad. Look at the base. It seems like it's pretty good. All right, good enough. All right, we got any more heavyweights in here? No. Oh, wait a minute. Snorkel. There's a snorkel, actually in good shape. Just got a broken thing on the back. Now you can put you can put a reproduction piece on here. You just pop this off, put a reproduction piece on, or leave that piece either way. And it's actually got a nice color, yellow. So that's actually in pretty good shape. All right, let's take a look. We're done with the heavyweights in this case. Let's start. Let's see any 68s in the case. Calling out for 68s. Yes, Beatnik Bandit, no engine. Oh dear. All right, Ford J car, gold. Not great, not great. All right, all right, let's see. 68s, Dior, look at that, look at that. That one needs to be a repaint, huh? Look at that, it's terrible, terrible. All right, that's all for the 68s. No, wait a minute. Be look at that custom, oh, you know what? It looks like a custom Barracuda, but it is a King Huda with no stripes, no numbers, in terrible condition, ready to be repainted by somebody, and I know a few people that do that kind of thing, so I'll have to get with them on that. 69s, look at that, here is Maserati Mistral orange with a black top, no hood. That piece is missing, oh boy, that would be a rare, this would be a good piece, if this was mint, that would cost you a fortune. Look how nice that is. Well, all right, Chaparral, no wing, that's still on it. Tires are still on it, so you got a little bit of something there. All right, let's see. Look at that. Here's a McLaren missing the back. Here's a Chaparral missing the back. Hmm. Not great. Not great. All right, let's see. Got a 70. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a 69. Still going to 69s. Look at that beautiful Lola GT70. Just got a little corrosion on the back there. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Hong Kong blue. Look at it. Needs a repaint. Pretty sure. How about this? Vicky? Vicky Vicky, orange, too bad, too bad it was good at one time. But you know what? This collection has a variety of things in it. Not all bad. Ford Mark IV, red enamel. Not good. It's nothing really good in this case so far. Well, this is not bad. Light green. Actually, this car is actually pretty nice. Light green Mantis. Light green Mantis. Yeah, it's got a little rub right there on the fender, but the color's good. 
so that's not so bad. All right, Fire Chief Cruiser right there. Nice bright red. Not so bad. And there's a power pad in yellow. Man, I saw a yellow one of these sell for a sky high amount the other day. Of course, it wasn't like this one. It was a nice one. But there it is, yellow. Pretty cool color for the power pad. And here is Twin Mill in green. Twin Mill in green, white interior. Again, rough condition. Rough, I say, rough. Here it is. Continental Rose. Continental in Rose. Look at that. Eh, it's actually halfway decent. And here we got a 71 in the special delivery. It's not so bad. It's a pretty good little piece. Okay. And iced tea with no top. Iced tea, no top. Actually, the tires are pretty good on that one. We'll probably put a reproduction top on that. All right. There's a Mod Quad in gold. Mod Quad in gold. Look at that. That Surprisingly, the motors are still kind of shiny on this one. It's actually pretty good shape. One of the better cars in the collection, I would say, at this point, so far. So far. All right, first case down. Inside's not so bad. I'm gonna strip off these pictures, clean these up real good. And uh, usually what I'll do with these cases when they're, you know, don't have any art on them is uh, use them just for putting large collections in when I mail them out. So that's pretty good, all right. All right, guys, here we go. Case number two, a 12-car rally case. Oh, my gosh. There's some good. There's some bad in here. Here's something good. A scooper. One scooper. Actually in good shape. Near mint, I'd say, almost. Except under magnet, extreme magnification. Looks pretty good. That's a pretty good car right there. And what's this? It's a Volkswagen. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. Still got the sunroof in it, though. That's nice. That is good. Yes. And here it is. Let's see, that is a Rocket by Baby. Rocket by Baby in not bad shape. Got a little corrosion on it. It needs to be rubbed off. And what about this Rolls Royce? Yeah, this one is a candidate for a repaint. Imagine this in pink or purple. That'd be good. White interior would be really nice, but this definitely needs to be repainted. I'll have to see about that. And got a halfway decent snake. Two. Snake two. Mongoose two right there. Snake and Mongoose two. Halfway decent, really. Got all the original stickers on them. Halfway decent shape, not bad, not bad at all. And look at this, we've got a mongoose dragster and a snake dragster. Two of those, right there. And hey, check it out. Whoa, that one's rough, that one's rough. Cheetah, oh yeah, mm -hmm. sure, why not? And a Camaro, whoa, look at this guy. Original blue with bubblegum tires, look at those babies. That's a shame, huh? That one's got rough, but the guy said this one rolls like a maniac. That's what he says. Good racer. And halfway decent noodle head right there in a blue. Blue. On the outside edition of Redline Collection, reveal. Here we go. Mighty Maverick Aqua. Mighty Maverick Aqua. Still got most of the spoiler there. And uh, it's pretty rough. Pretty rough. Oh, my gosh. I think this was... These are the two worst cars in the collection. Uh, Mustang. Hello. Uh, Mustang. It was blue originally. And it's a U.S., so it was a U.S. blue. And there it goes. And look at this. 57 Bird. I think I'll put this on eBay and say, like, vintage. I'll send it around. Send it around. Look at that. So, so, so bad. Okay, and a demon. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. And, oh, dear. Holy smokes. I, I don't know if that could be saved. Good piece for a restoration. I think I'll send that off to somebody who can restore. It'll need a new window, a new paint job, shine, polish them at the base, new wheels. It needs everything. That one is bad. All right, that's the end of the 12 car case. Wait a minute. There's a piece in there. Always look for the good pieces. Here we go. Jet threat window right there. Jet threat window. That's a good piece right there. About $20 for a jet threat window. Now we got another case. Let's pull all this crap off. Pull that off and clean this up. Take that off and because, you know, you're going to get water on it, so it's not going to be any good anyway. So you just take all that stuff off, clean the case as good as you can, and then you use it to ship cars in, just for fun. Just for fun. All right. All right, it's time for case number three, 24-car case. It looks like I'm going to need to make some room over here for these cars. And there's actually some halfway decent cars in this case. Let's zoom down here. Oh, look at that. We got a pink AMX. Actually, it's not too bad. It's Dull as heck, but that's just because of the moisture. But it's actually got pretty good color. It's got a little bit of hazing on the hood, but the rest of the car actually looks pretty darn good. And let's see, what else do we have that's good in here? Mm, look at that. That's sad. 
That is so sad. T for two, T for two. Yep, that's pretty sad. And you got the paddy wagon. It's pretty sad. Got a Corvette in here. Look at that sad thing. Oh, Get that painted pink. That'd be cool. I guess you don't really need to do that. So look at this bug eye. Bug eye red. Ooh, corrosion. Yuck. And funny money. Funny money come up here. Whoa. Pieces come apart. Look at that. Pretty sad. No, it's actually not too bad. It's just the bottom is loose. Yeah, actually it's pretty good. Bottom is loose. That's not too bad. We've got a jet thread. I guess that's where the window goes. In green. Green's a good color. Stripes are a little crooked. I think I'd clean those off because this is actually pretty good shape except for the back right here. Put the window in it. Make a nice little display piece. Here's a custom fleet side. Terrible shape. And look at these. Silhouette. Silhouette. Oh, silhouette. Oh, goodness. Look at that. That is what can happen to Hot Wheels when you play the heck out of them. Look at that. McLaren. Somebody had a lot of fun with these. McLaren. There it goes. And look at that. Boss Hoss Mustang Chrome. The mail-away model. Check it out. T in T-Bird. Yes, I know where this one's going to go. TNT Bird and Porsche 917. This one actually pretty good shape. 917. Got to get a few good cars to help pay back the cost of the collection. Here is another Mod Quad in gold. Pretty good shape. Pretty good. Not bad. And then we got a Nitty Gritty Kitty. Orange. Look at that Nitty Gritty Kitty in orange. A lot of corrosion. I wonder if that can be cleaned off. I think the metal would be pitted. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here's a Heavy Chevy. This one's pretty good. This one's not bad. Getting too close to the camera there, and I, I'm going fast today. I ate a couple of chocolate chip cookies to get my energy up, and I'm going fast through this collection. Look at that olive beach bomb with the original boards. Pretty good shape. Not too bad. Not too bad. Put that over there. What do we got here? We got a crusty. Look at that. Look at that corrosion back there, and that's kind of bent. I don't know what the deal is there, but I think that was had something to do with this dump truck bed not sure this one's really sad the bifocal or yeah bifocal got the crumbling base the crumbling base and there they got a decent top sometimes i just separate them all together and, but if somebody had a good bottom and that would be a halfway decent top still has some value not much this is one of the actual best cars in the collection right here look at this beautiful is it gold is it yellow i think it might be yellow it's really a beautiful, definitely going to polish the side here a little bit and because uh, the motors are good. Polish the side. This side's good, just the this part. And make sure the wheels, have a nice set of wheels. Put that in the collection. That actually will be a nice piece. And here's a yellow whipped creamer. Nothing special there. Look at that sad little green boss hoss. I had a guy call me about boss hosses this morning. I'll send him a picture of this and say, sorry, Charlie. It's about all I ever find in boss houses, really. They're so hard. Here's a light my firebird. Pretty bad shape. And another base for a heavyweight. You know, I got quite a few of these around here. I could put some uh, reproduction backs on those, make them useful. And then here's another beach bomb. Probably put this in my mall space. Guys around here, I haven't put any really good cars in my mall space. And here is a fire engine with a red enamel cab. So that's pretty cool. Again, a lot of these cars will just go right in my mall space for the local guys. Or I might put them on my bargain basement. Look at this. And there we have again a decent car. That's right. How many decent cars have I found in here so far? Actually, the best cars are probably in those cases over there. But, uh, you know, I got this one and this one and this one. It's pretty nice. Yeah, there's a few. <clears throat> There's a few nice ones so far. There's a couple of mod quads. Let's see over here. No, over there. No. All right, let's get to the next case. All right, I've never done a video outside, so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Here we got one of the, oh yes, one of the cases that actually has some pretty decent cars in it. I wonder how that sounds, cars go by, huh? Hmm. All right, let's dig into this case where we have a Dodge Charger. Look at that, Dodge Charger, not bad. And not a bad Dodge Charger. Let's see. We got Turbo Fire. We got, oh, sad Firebird. I'll pick these up in a minute. I'm going to take them out. Because it's so hard to get cars out of these cases. There's actually a couple of good pieces in here. And uh, let's see. Here's that Mercedes. Got this. Sometimes I just tip it over and put them out. So, we got that nasty case. All right, let's take a look. 
Harry Holler, Harry Holler. Not bad. Not bad. Not too bad. This one is really nice. Ferrari 312. I don't even know if I have a light green. Sure is pretty. If I do have one, I haven't seen it in a long time. Light green, so pretty. Here we got a Ferrari 512 right there. Whoops. I've been mowing the lawn all day. It makes my hand shake. Look at that. Ferrari 512. Haven't had one of those in a while in a Carabo Magenta 1970 model. Here we got a Cockney Cab. This is the red and the Hong Kong version. Got a Mercedes green. Mercedes green. Got a Firebird with no windshield. Spent cowl. Not much good there. Guess you could use the interior for something. You got another heavyweight missing the back. Probably an ambulance back. And a really dark red turbo fire, which I have hardly any turbo fires right now. So, two more cases, two more cases in this outdoor edition of collection unveiling. I suppose I could take the tray out because I'm going to clean the trays. I might not keep the case, but definitely keep the trays. They might clean up all right. I'm going to try my new uh, disinfecting system for cleaning that. Oh dear, look at this poor school bus. It's got corrosion all over. Come on. Uh-oh. I'm starting to lose focus. There we go. There we go, Liz. So here's a school bus. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, right. Corrosion all over. Wow, look at that. Whoa, look at that corrosion. Oh, dear. I hope you can hear me all right. Cars going by and everything. Red Baron. Lots of corrosion, lots of paint loss. But this sad thing, there was actually this one other car I'll show you at the very end that made this whole collection worthwhile. Next car up is a red Evil Weevil. Look at the red Evil Weevil. Wow. And we got a magenta swinging wing with the wing. It's got most of the clips on it. Part of the clips anyway could possibly be put back together. Aqua Peeping Bomb right there. Aqua Peeping Bomb. And a Lime Nomad. Lime Nomad. Are we losing our light? A yellow. Look at how bright that is in the outdoor light. That actually is pretty bright for a yellow. The yellows are pretty cool. Maybe I need to turn my light on. Okay, now I'm getting to that time of day where a lot of cars start driving by, and I think it's going to ruin my video, but let's just keep slogging ahead here until we get to the end. We've only got a few more cars left. We've got a few more. All right, what do we got? We got a pit crew car. I wonder what that looked like in color. It'd be nice and red, I think. Halfway decent peeping bomb, aqua. And a Tri Baby in rose. But check this out. A hot pink hood. Hot pink hood. That's pretty cool. It looked nice in display case. This one is stellar pink. No toning whatsoever. Just chips all over it. Hmm. So weird. Very beautiful. Can you see it? It really is that beautiful. Light green mantis. And a green sugar caddy. Green sugar caddy. There it is. And one more case left on this outdoor version of... Redline collection box opening. That's what I call it because I like to buy collections. And I thought this was a drop cloth, but I uh, hope my wife doesn't come home before I get this put back away because this is actually a uh, tablecloth. I realized that once I got it all out. Okay, last tray. This tray is not too bad. This tray is not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, here we go. Last up, we got a purple tow truck purple tow truck and we got a purple lotus purple lotus and we got a purple grasshopper no top that is a grasshopper anyway and we got a 36 ford coupe in purple Let's see if we got any buttons on it nope 36 ford coupe in purple and a magenta custom amx2 which is actually in pretty good shape that's not too bad really and we got a mump mobile missing all the parts it's actually in good shape. So if I get a crumbler or something and put it back together with all those parts. All right, and here is a Shelby turbine in purple with a light color interior. All right, and a purple Torero. Okay, and finally some aqua cars. A six shooter, good shape. Aqua six shooter, aqua woody, aqua strip teaser, no seat. 
I think I got a reproduction seat I can stick in there. Actually, that car's in pretty good shape. Aqua Torero, which is in good shape, but the window's messed up. It looks like maybe I can push that back into place if I get underneath the tire. And last, the splitting image. The splitting image in Aqua. So that's all, all the cars, but actually there's a blue, also a blue uh, Sky Show fleet side I have in the house. But all of these cars came in one collection with all that track and stuff that I showed you. Some other little, I'm going to show you some stuff, some pictures now. Uh, right after this, but there was one car that made this entire collection worthwhile, and I'm going to show it to you at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, Dave Williamson. Check it out, I'm going to go through this box of stuff that came with the big collection. It's kind of some neat stuff, look at this. There's scissor boxes. I think pretty much everything's bad except for the plastic lids, which seem to be okay. There's a bag full of 80s cars like this. There's a whole bunch of them. Check this out. Look at that. Oh, let's check this out. That's awesome. Sweet. Here's a coin. What is this? This is a bicentennial coin that's got a hole cut in it. There's a Rumbler motorcycle. And oh, funny money, my favorite. Oh, sweet. There's another motorcycle. I didn't even know it was in there. Check it out. A bumper for some kind of car. A bunch of cars here. Look at that little half pack. I'm gonna open all those. That's cool. Oh, check it out. Is a part of a Rumbler motorcycle. Not either one of these. Oh, there is a Grand Toro in here. Ew. Ew. Check it out. Wow. And it's yellow, so somebody's painted it. That was not supposed to be that color. Oh, and there's a slot car box. A gold one, G. That's probably a good one. What's this? Huh. Some sort of a cutting thing. Oh, look at this. Sister Charger. Yay. Oh, hey, this might be the most valuable thing in there. Dallas Cowboys World Championship. When was that? Here's some track for the train. Here's the train. Look at that. Hotline train by Mattel. Three pieces of hotline train. And look at this. There's a wrench of some sort. And a Sizzler juice machine. Oh, look at this. There's a Sizzler chassis in here, which is actually in really good shape. Battery was taken out a long time ago, and it didn't rot. And the wheels... Are nearly perfect that's awesome it's a track for the train piece of uh, oh look at that that's actually a good piece for a sizzler co-motion that's a good piece right there hey here's some other things that came in this set i got a circle of grant of sizzler track i've got some double lane track like a complete one got two sizzler power brakes two of those and all this stuff over here just out in the sunshine today cleaning everything plus as a super bonus I got a stack of Grand Toro track and four of those uh, little umbrella thingies the parachutes and uh, rod runner and let's see over here I got this box of parts pretty cool and I got all this track a lot of track and a really nasty dirty action city which we will be cleaning up to make it look as good as possible. Action City. And a Rod Runner. As you can see, it's come into my dirty garage. One Rod Runner. One of these guys, one of those guys, a single supercharger and a speedometer in a box. I think it's in a box. And of course, the stuff that you've seen already in another part of the video.